the top 10 hidden culprits behind weight gain and obesity, a deep dive into health. Welcome back to our healthcare channel where we shine a light on the crucial health challenges facing our world today. In this episode, we're tackling a heavyweight issue, obesity. It's not just a matter of looking good, it's a health crisis that's sweeping the globe, intertwined with a complex web known as metabolic syndrome. This sneaky syndrome brings with it a host of dangerous bedfellows, including high blood pressure, skyrocketing blood sugar, and a troubling blood lipid profile. These aren't just numbers on a chart, they're red flags for heart disease and type 2 diabetes, especially for those far from the safety of the normal weight range. The journey into understanding obesity has been long and filled with research aiming to unpack the hows and whys of its prevention and treatment. But let's talk about a misconception that's as widespread as it is misleading the belief that obesity boils down to simply not having enough willpower. If only it were that straightforward. The truth is, the battlefield of weight gain is not level for everyone. Some warriors are fighting with a disadvantage, thanks to the silent saboteurs like genetics and hormones that predispose them to weight gain. But here's where the plot thickens, overcoming these genetic hurdles is possible. It's about transforming lifestyles and habits with a cocktail of willpower, dedication, and perseverance. However, boiling down this complex interplay to just willpower, that's an oversimplification that overlooks the myriad of factors at play, from biological to environmental. So, what's really behind the curtain of weight gain, obesity, and metabolic disease? It's not just about the choices we make on a whim. Stay tuned as we uncover the top 10 factors, many of which are stealthily operating beyond the realm of willpower. Remember to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest videos, and if you find our content valuable, please consider making a donation through the donate feature to support us in creating more high-quality content. 1. Genetics It's a fascinating journey into how our family lineage can shape our health in ways we're just beginning to understand fully. The science is clear. If obesity is a common thread in your family tapestry, you're more likely to follow in those footsteps compared to someone from a lineage of leaner ancestors. But here's where it gets interesting and hopeful, your destiny isn't written in stone. The choices you make, particularly about what you eat, can significantly influence how your genes play out in your life. Let's talk about a remarkable observation that shines a light on the power of environment over genetics. Societies that have remained untouched by the processed foods and lifestyle of the Western world experience a dramatic rise in obesity rates the moment they adopt our diet. Their genetic makeup hasn't altered, but the signals sent to their genes have shifted dramatically, leading to a surge in obesity. This genetic predisposition to weight gain is not just anecdotal, it's scientifically verified through studies on identical twins, providing undeniable evidence of genetics at play in obesity. Yet, these findings also underscore a message of hope and empowerment. Understanding your genetic predisposition can be the first step in tailoring a lifestyle that helps you steer clear of obesity, proving that while genetics may load the gun, lifestyle pulls the trigger. 2. Engineered Junk Foods These items, which line the shelves of our supermarkets, are more than just food, they're concoctions of refined ingredients and additives, crafted not for nutrition, but for profit. The strategy behind these products is simple yet cunning, make them affordable, ensure they survive an age on the shelf, and above all, make them irresistibly delicious. This trifecta of traits makes processed foods the ultimate temptation, one that's challenging to resist for even the most disciplined among us. But here's the kicker, the goal isn't just to tantalize your taste buds, it's to boost sales by encouraging you to eat more than you need. The result? A cycle of overeating that's tough to break. 
and let's talk about resemblance, or the lack thereof. The processed foods of today bear no resemblance to the whole foods they're supposed to replace. Instead, they are the result of high-level engineering, designed with one goal in mind, to get you hooked. 3. Food Addiction The sugary, high-fat treats that many of us find irresistible are not just bad for our waistlines, they're actually designed to hijack the reward centers of our brains. Drawing parallels that might shock you, these junk foods are often likened to substances of abuse, such as alcohol, cocaine, nicotine, and cannabis. The comparison is stark but warranted, given the profound effect these foods can have on our brains and behavior. For some individuals, the pull of junk food goes beyond mere temptation, spiraling into a full-blown addiction. This is a reality where the craving for another bite overshadows everything else, mirroring the loss of control experienced by those battling substance addiction. It's a scenario where the brain's biochemistry seizes the reins, dictating your choices and diminishing your freedom. The journey to overcoming this form of addiction is daunting. It's a battle against your brain's rewired responses, seeking to reclaim your autonomy over what you eat. But here's the beacon of hope, understanding this dynamic is the first step towards liberation. This episode is more than just an expose, it's a call to action and a guide to freedom. We're here to navigate the complex terrain of addiction, offering insights, strategies, and support to those ready to break the chains of junk food addiction. Remember, it's not just about regaining control over your eating habits, it's about reclaiming your health, your freedom, and your life. 4. Aggressive Marketing We're venturing into the shadowy realms of junk food marketing, a realm where the pursuit of profit often overshadows ethics. The tactics employed by junk food producers can be shockingly aggressive, blurring the lines between right and wrong as they push products that are far from healthy. These companies are masters of illusion, cloaking their unhealthy products in the guise of health, bombarding us with claims that stretch the truth to its breaking point. But here's the aspect that turns this situation from concerning to downright alarming, their targeting of children. In a world where information is at our fingertips, it's heartbreaking to see our youngest and most vulnerable being led into a trap of obesity, diabetes, and addiction to junk food. These conditions, once thought of as adult problems, are now confronting children who are far from equipped to make informed choices about their health and nutrition. This isn't just a matter of individual choice, it's a societal issue that calls for awareness, education, and action. Today, we're not just shedding light on these deceptive practices, we're empowering you with knowledge. By understanding the strategies used by these companies, we can start to make better choices for ourselves and our families. But more importantly, we're sparking a conversation about responsibility, both personal and corporate, and advocating for a world where health, not profit, drives the food industry. Together, we can protect our children from becoming targets of unhealthy marketing and guide them towards making informed, healthy choices that will serve them for a lifetime. 5. Insulin Insulin isn't just another hormone, it's a key player in our body's energy management system, with the power to influence how and where energy is stored. One of insulin's primary roles is communicating with fat cells instructing them not only to store fat but also to keep the fat they've already stored. This becomes particularly problematic with the Western diet, which is notorious for pushing many towards insulin resistance. This condition doesn't just affect those who are overweight or have obesity, it can lead to elevated insulin levels across the board, funneling energy into fat cells rather than making it available for our bodies to use. Now, insulin's connection to obesity has sparked debate, but there's a growing body of research indicating that high insulin levels might not just be a bystander but a direct contributor to weight gain. So, 
What can we do about it? The solution might be simpler than you think. Cutting back on simple or refined carbohydrates and boosting your fiber intake can have a profound impact. This approach doesn't just lower insulin levels, it can also lead to natural, effortless weight loss. That's right, without the need for obsessive calorie counting or strict portion control. In this part, we're not just talking about the problem, we're offering a pathway to better health. By understanding the role of insulin and adjusting our diets accordingly, we can take control of our health and steer our bodies towards a healthier weight and a brighter future. 6. Certain Medications It's an issue that touches the lives of many, yet it's not always front and center in discussions about health and weight management. Let's dive into the heart of the matter. Many medications, while designed to treat specific health conditions, come with a side effect that can catch many by surprise, weight gain. This isn't about diminishing the importance of these medications, it's about understanding their full impact on our bodies. Take antidepressants, for example. They're a lifeline for millions, offering a way to navigate through the toughest times. Yet, they've been linked to modest weight gain over time. It's a similar story with medications for conditions like diabetes and mental health disorders like schizophrenia, where antipsychotics are often prescribed. These medications are essential for managing these conditions, but they also bring changes to the body and brain that can affect weight. It's crucial to understand that this weight gain isn't about a lack of willpower or personal failure. These drugs can alter the very way our bodies and brains function, from reducing our metabolic rate to ramping up our appetite. It's a complex interplay of biology and chemistry that goes beyond simple calorie counting or exercise regimes. For those experiencing medication-related weight gain, it's important to discuss these effects with healthcare providers. There might be alternatives or strategies to mitigate this side effect from adjusting dosages to incorporating lifestyle changes. 7. Leptin Resistance This isn't just any hormone, it's one that has a direct line to how our bodies manage weight, appetite, and overall health. Produced by fat cells, leptin's role in our body is like that of a messenger, informing the brain about the state of our fat stores. Ideally, as fat mass increases, so do the levels of leptin, which in turn should signal the brain to reduce appetite. It's a beautifully designed system that, when functioning correctly, helps maintain our weight. However, here's where the plot thickens for individuals battling obesity. Despite having high levels of leptin due to increased fat mass, the expected decrease in appetite doesn't occur. This paradox is due to a condition known as leptin resistance. In leptin resistance, despite the abundance of leptin, the brain doesn't receive its message. It's as if the hormone is knocking on the door of the brain, but something is blocking its entry. This miscommunication results in the brain operating as if the body is in a state of starvation, leading to increased appetite and, subsequently, more weight gain. Leptin resistance is at the forefront of obesity research, believed to be a primary driver in the development of this complex condition. It challenges our understanding of obesity, pushing us to look beyond simple solutions and to delve deeper into the hormonal and biochemical underpinnings of weight gain. In this part, we're not just shedding light on leptin and its significant role in obesity, we're also empowering you with knowledge. Understanding the science behind weight gain can transform the way we approach obesity, from treatment strategies to how we support those who are affected. 8. Food Availability Over the past few centuries, the availability of food, particularly junk food, has exploded. It's not just available, it's omnipresent, strategically placed to catch your eye and ignite your cravings. This surge in accessibility isn't just about quantity, 
it's about what types of foods are most accessible. Alarmingly, it's often the foods that are least beneficial to our health that are the most readily available and affordable, especially in the United States. This disparity in food availability takes a stark turn when we look at socioeconomic factors. In many poorer neighborhoods, the concept of choice when it comes to food is a myth. The reality for residents in these areas is a landscape dominated by convenience stores filled with sodas, candy, and processed junk foods. The options for fresh fruit and vegetables? Virtually non-existent. The consequences of this imbalance are far-reaching, impacting not just individual health but the well-being of entire communities. The easier and cheaper option becomes the unhealthy one, and over time, this choice becomes a habit, deeply ingrained in the fabric of daily life. The result? A dramatic increase in obesity rates and related health issues, perpetuated by a cycle of limited options and poor dietary habits. It's time to rethink our food environments, to make healthy, whole foods as accessible and affordable as junk food. 9. Sugar It's a ubiquitous ingredient that's found its way into much of what we eat, often without us even realizing it. But as we're about to uncover, the consequences of consuming added sugar extend far beyond just an extra calorie count. Added sugar, a staple of the modern diet, is arguably one of its most detrimental components. This isn't just about indulging in a sugary treat now and then. It's about the systemic effects that excess sugar has on our bodies. From disrupting our hormonal balance to altering our biochemistry, the impact of added sugar is profound and far-reaching. At its core, added sugar consists of equal parts glucose and fructose. While glucose is a common component derived from various foods, including starches, fructose is predominantly sourced from added sugars. This distinction is crucial because the body handles these two sugars differently. Excess fructose consumption can lead to insulin resistance and a spike in insulin levels, setting off a cascade of metabolic disturbances. Unlike glucose, fructose doesn't trigger the same feelings of fullness, leading to a cycle of overeating and, ultimately, weight gain. The link between added sugar and obesity is clear and concerning. By promoting excessive energy storage, sugar acts as a catalyst for weight gain, contributing to the global obesity epidemic. But the story doesn't end with weight gain. The effects of added sugar permeate through various aspects of health, highlighting the need for a serious reassessment of our dietary choices. 10. Misinformation in a world overflowing with information, distinguishing between helpful guidance and harmful myths is more challenging than ever. But why is this the case, and how can we protect ourselves from falling into the trap of misinformation? The root of the problem often lies in the sources of the information we consume. The internet, while a treasure trove of knowledge, is also rife with websites spreading misleading or outright incorrect information about health and nutrition. This misinformation isn't just confined to obscure corners of the web, it's prevalent across many platforms and can sometimes even be found in the messages of seemingly reputable news outlets. These sources often oversimplify, misinterpret, or take scientific findings out of context leading to public confusion and misguided health choices. Moreover, the issue is compounded by outdated information and unproven theories that continue to circulate, despite a lack of scientific backing. Adding to the confusion, food and supplement companies often promote products with little to no proven efficacy, like weight loss supplements, preying on the hopes of those looking to improve their health. This environment creates a minefield for individuals trying to make informed decisions about their health and nutrition. Following strategies based on false or misleading information not only hampers your progress but can also lead to frustration and disillusionment with the journey towards better health. 
So, how do we navigate this maze of misinformation? The key is critical evaluation and selecting your information sources with care. Look for information from reputable, science-backed sources, and be wary of quick fixes or sensational claims. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. The bottom line. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by the numerous factors influencing our weight and health, many of which seem beyond our control. However, this moment is not about surrendering to despair but about recognizing the power we do hold. First and foremost, it's crucial to acknowledge that, despite the complexities of our bodies and the challenges we face, we have significant control over our eating habits and lifestyle choices. While certain medical conditions may pose additional obstacles, for most of us, the journey to a healthier weight is within reach. Yes, it demands effort, sometimes a profound change in our lifestyle, but countless success stories prove it's achievable. The essence of our message today goes beyond individual responsibility. We're here to challenge the narrative that has contributed to the global obesity epidemic, a narrative that reduces the issue to a mere lack of willpower. This oversimplification ignores the broader, systemic problems at play including modern eating habits and a food culture in dire need of transformation. Changing this narrative isn't just about freeing individuals from guilt, it's about recognizing the need for a global shift in how we approach food and health. The idea that obesity is solely the result of personal failings is a myth, one that conveniently benefits food producers and marketers, allowing them to promote unhealthy choices unchallenged. Our goal today is to open your eyes to the bigger picture, to inspire a collective awakening to the role that societal and environmental factors play in our health. By understanding these influences, we can better navigate our choices and advocate for a healthier food environment for ourselves and future generations. So, as we conclude, remember that your journey to health is both personal and part of a larger story. It's a path that requires persistence, informed choices, and sometimes, a complete lifestyle overhaul. But it's also a journey filled with potential and hope. Together, we can challenge the status quo, make empowered choices, and work towards a healthier world. To learn more about this topic, please like the video and subscribe to my Healthy Care channel. I want to express my gratitude once again for your viewership and support in watching this video today. I send my best wishes for you to always be safe, prosperous.